there. Okay, good. Guys, amazing initiatives from our locals that are going to make everyone's lives so much easier. There is so much going on at the moment. There is so much information for us to digest. But really, we don't want to sit here and talk about the coronavirus. There is more than enough information out there. What we do want to talk about is what some incredible local businesses are doing that is going to help you guys. I think that's the critical message right now. And you, um, and you guys, how to help or how to be part of the local community and help people yeah. around you so we looked at the fire appeal and everyone was very happy to put their hands in their pockets for yeah. absolutely no benefit to themselves this is a thing that you guys can do you can put your hand in your pocket but you will also benefit as well so there's some really cool little, yeah. little stuff that's happening around on the northern beaches of sydney we wanted to share what some of these companies are doing and what you can do to support those guys and reciprocate the love yes correct so they're here to help you um, now, by no means have we been approached by these guys. Mark and I have just chosen four companies, four local companies or businesses that we've seen that we think some of, some of these things that they're doing are absolutely phenomenal. It's unreal. We know that they're going to help you guys. Grab your notepad and pen, jot these down. As I said, we've actually handpicked them. Um, we've spent the morning just going through what some of these local businesses are doing. We want to support the local businesses and in turn these guys are going to support you all right ready for it let's talk about the green street grocers in brookvale um these guys are restocking their fruit and veg daily i just happen to follow them on instagram um, i'm actually going to be popping down there myself sometime later on this afternoon to grab some fresh fruit and veg but every single day these guys have got an abundance of supplies. The thing that I love about this is that they are local people. So yeah. I, I, like, I do love Woolies and everything that they do. 100%. But I feel if I spend my money in Woolies, yeah. I don't think there's going to be a dramatic effect to our the people on the beaches. Yeah, yeah. So I like the Green Street Grocer guys because you're going to buy, everyone's got to buy fruit and veg. Yeah. If we can hit local a bit harder, then that's going to support a lot more the local community. So hack number one is support local if you've got a fruit and veg shop yeah. that's supplying stuff maybe you're pie, you're paying 10 percent more than woolies you could be paying a bit more well, maybe not or maybe woolies, not. woolies is probably a little bit cheaper but probably yeah. less quality this is better quality and a little bit more so but the money's going back local it's 100%. employing local you know what i mean but can i just say i do follow these guys on instagram and today this morning they caught my eye because they were like um, that always look like they've got amazing fruit and veg down there, but they 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 are sure they are assuring the community that their shelves are full every single day. So guys, Green Street Grocer in Brookie, um, you can follow them on Instagram as well. But that's yep. one that I've chosen. Yep. Um, second one is the Fort our guys at Fort Media. Now these guys have actually just started doing our videos. And I found out today, again, through social media, that they're going to be doing free, short videos for local businesses. Free. Fort Media. F-O-R-T-E Media. Now, Shad's the owner of the business, and I wanted to share with you guys his attitude about this. Yeah. His attitude was, dude, I've had stuff cancel. Dude, I'm probably not going to be able to do maybe do jobs over the next week or two yeah so if i can shoot a bucket load of content i'm paying my guys anyway yeah he said he's got time he said to me i've got a i've got a mentor and this is the chat that shad had with his mentor the mentor go there's two types of business people one that are looking at their balance sheet looking at what they can chop out of their balance sheet in the current times the second type of per business person they're looking at their at their business and saying what can I do to support and to help and to utilize my services to help the community? And he goes, mate, that's what I'm doing. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, mate, I'm free this Arvo. I'm free tomorrow. If you want to rock me down to any of your local businesses. I put my hand up. I'm like, I'll take a free short video. Okay. What a great attitude. It's unreal. I mean, I've got some new stock coming on. I'm like, I'm sure my clients would love a free video on their property. What a great attitude. So Fort Media, guys. So the two that we've just mentioned, and Luke, I've just seen you ask about um, Green Street Grocers in Brookie. When do they restock? I've absolutely no idea. I'm following them on Instagram. Do the same, guys. 
follow them on Instagram, but I, I'm, I'm going to be going down there later on this afternoon. Don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll grab anything that I can. Big time. A little bag of fresh fruit and veg for, for home. So do the support, same. Support the local green grocer rather than, yep. the, the, rather than the national. Yep. Support the, the video guy with his attitude of saying, look, I'm going to do some videos for free because I've got, I'm paying my guys anyway. So let's, let's, let's support some local businesses. Yep. Who else? Okay. So the other ones that we've got is our um, Terry Hills. Yep. So the Severino family. Yes. Now these guys, um, if you're a reception center, I think you've had a lot of cancellations. Um, yeah. I know that uh, I know some, particularly in the CBD of Sydney. Um, now, if we're going to support these guys and we want these guys to host our weddings and have our weddings, we want these guys to stick around. Yeah. We want to support the businesses. So these businesses stick around. So today, for instance, at Novak, We've put on a lunch for local businesses, our plumber, our electrician, the Kelly's guys next door and our staff. And we've ordered from this, um, the Sandstone Sandstone Cafe, Cafe at Terry Hills. So, yeah. so, so guys, just to be clear, Sandstone yep. Cafe in Terry Hills um, is uh, the cafe that is adjoined to Miramar Gardens, which is obviously a beautiful, massive conference slash function centre here on the Northern Beaches. It's not very busy at the moment. There is one thing that these guys know how to do, and that is food. Well, like, we go to a million functions a year, and we always know that the best food we are ever going to receive is from those guys, the Severino family. So what they're doing is they're actually making bulk packs of food, lasagnas, pastas, salads, schnitzels. You can do a drive through up in Terry Hills at Miramar Garden, Sandstone Cafe, and you can pick up that family pack of food. So, and I think they're doing it all at cost. So that is what an awesome, awesome incentive. Hundred percent, like there's, without a doubt, I'm gonna be going up there to get lasagna. So grab one for dinner tonight, grab five, shove some into the freezer. They're definitely not gonna go astray, but these guys have just utilized their resources. They're thinking laterally about what they can do. Obviously, got a, their functions are busy. 700 meter square kitchen up there. Right, they've got the chefs, they've got the produce. Yep. So they're just cooking up bulk lots of food and they're selling them at cost. You don't even need to get out of your car. So Sandstone Cafe, a joint in Miramar Gardens in Terry Hills. Yep. And I'll bet they'll deliver it as well if you want them to. They're doing family size lasagnas, schnitzels. And, uh, and pastas, all that cost. And these guys are huge employers on the Northern Beaches. They employ yeah. a hell, hell, like so many staff. So if we can keep those staff uh, pumping, it's good news yeah, for local. Definitely. And got? the fourth one, and again, guys, I just want to point out, we have not been asked to do this. Um, Mark and I have just chosen four local um, businesses that we've seen that are doing some stuff that is just like out of the, out of the ordinary. Yep. And so we just thought that uh, we would mention it. Yeah, Where you family. can benefit from as well. Yep. Kelly's. Hey, so next Kelly's, door neighbours. Not, not the um, state place, but Kelly's, the, the office supplies guys. So, Mark, you had a chat with them, I think, this morning about something that they're doing. They're next door to us here in DY. Look, they're one of the oldest businesses on the Northern Beaches. They're a family business. Yeah. They do office supplies. They also do office supplies to big corporates. Now, what do you reckon? The big corporates, they, they're they saying, look, can we just hold that order? Yeah. Can we just hold that order? And these guys have stock. Um, but the great news, and this is a great story that people don't talk about most. People are generally yeah. whinging uh, about the loss. There's people that are actually winning um, out of this. And there's people that are, that, are, that, are, that are just being agile and trying to turn a bad situation to a good situation. Yeah. Um, a bit like the Severinos with, you know, doing, doing, getting that what restaurant What a bloody pumping. clever idea. Um, I've just checked out. Actually, we'll pop the menu in here as well. You'll see it. So with Kelly's, um, guess what they've had? They've had a lot of people setting up at home. So, so a home office. So he said, look, on one hand, it's been, so a, bit, it's been a bit tough and it's been a bit gruelling. But on yeah. the other hand, he goes, we're getting people queuing up at the door wanting to set up their home office, wanting to set up a new desk, whacking it in their car and setting up a home office and these corporates are working from home. Now, the big thing here is you've got a decision, guys. You've got a decision to go to Officeworks and take your money nationally or you've got a, a, you've got yeah. a decision to go to Kelly's and keep your money local. Yeah. Because a business like Kelly's, 
probably agrees is a good one, two, three hundred local people in the area yep. and in Sydney, because most of their most of their um, office furniture is made in Sydney. Uh, how good is that? Unreal. What a bloody smart idea. Yeah. And this is the thing. I think in these times of crisis, um, we've all got to start thinking laterally. Yep. We have to start thinking laterally. Now, our daughter's school has just closed. Um, she's going to be doing digital work. Obviously, we're working parents. Um, but Mark raised a really good point last night. He said, Lise, how many school holidays do they get a year? I mean, we do this stuff anyway. So, you know, the kids are off on school holidays 12 or 14 so weeks of a year. What, they what take, will we usually do then? I mean, should be coming into work. Give the kids a four week holiday now and take it off the kids at the end of the year. Yeah. 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 And look, you know, the, the thing is, is that obviously it's tough times for everyone. We're in uncharted waters. None of us have gone through this before. But I think that, that you know, the main key things here are that um, we just have to apply common sense as best as we can. And we have to start thinking laterally, like these four businesses are doing. You know, um, and again, just from the top guys, Green Street Grocers in Brookvale, these guys on, the, in, on their social media are smashing it out, showing beautiful fruit and veg. Their, their shop's full every single day. They're restocking. Um, you don't need to go line up at Coles or Woolies. You can support those guys. I would rather pay the same or a little bit more and support the local grocer, green yeah. grocer those guys. Yep, yep. And then we've also got um, Miramar Gardens doing their drive-through meals. Obviously, all their functions have been cancelled. Yep. But my God, you've never tasted food like these guys supply. We're about to have it for lunch. We'll pop some photos on social media or come down and join us. You're very welcome to. Yeah, come in for lunch, 12.30. We're going to be having yeah. lunch down here. You can taste it for yourself. Come in. Um, and, uh, but those guys are doing family-sized lasagnas, pastas, schnitzels, drive-through service up in Terry Hills bloody awesome idea i know i'm going to be stacking our freezers with them that's for sure fort media um just been started working with these guys didn't even know that they're doing free short videos for local businesses small businesses um follow them on social media f-o-r-t-e i've just put my hand up i'll be doing a free short video um, mark is as well and kelly's office supplies next door to us here in dy they're setting up people at home. What a bloody awesome idea. Yeah. Thinking laterally. They got these cracker laterally. tables where you can, it's electronic. You know how when you get in a car, it can remember your seat settings, high, low, back or forward for a person. They've got tables that do the same thing. So that the table remember how high you want it to be. You can stand at the table, you can sit at the table. There's a button, electric button that pushes the table up yeah. and down. Uh, and they've got these beautiful ergonomic chairs. Now you buy these chairs, they're different to the Chinese stuff. You buy the Chinese stuff, you're replacing it every two, three years. You buy a chair from Kelly's, may cost you a little, it's hard to get. <laughs> if you buy a chair from Kelly's, not only, yes, it's gonna cost you a little bit more, but this is very good for your body, yeah. lasts a lifetime. Yep, yep, absolutely. So there's like, look four at Lisa's body. She, she, she has a Kelly's chair. I actually do. She has a love, lovely physique. <laughs> Awkward, but I do have a Kelly's chair. This is true. I did buy it about six months ago. Guys, we hope that's helped. As I said, I think we've just got to start to think a little bit laterally. We're all going into uncharted waters. Um, we're all in it together. I think that's there's, that's quite um, reassuring local. knowing that we're all in it together as well. Support, local. support the locals. Support the locals. They need us. We need them. Um, we're all in this together. Hope that's helped. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you Thank can, you to Luke for all of Luke's your a legend. comments. And, Absolute it, and legend. if you can, um, if you can, guys, uh, if you can get some work done on your house, you know, some of these guys are out of work. Yeah. So our, our electrician, for example, we need to get some stuff done for clients. And they've got time at the moment. They had a yeah, couple of bigger yeah. jobs cancelled. So we've said, mate, great. We're going to keep you busy. Let's go. And we've got our electrician here all day running around doing a job here, doing a job there, yeah. doing a job here because they had a job cancelled. So, yeah. guys, if you can get stuff done at home that, you know, you've been struggling with getting done in the past, yeah. I know you may not want to part with your cash. You may think, I'd better keep this for a rainy day. But I just think if we keep that that blood circulating through the body, we keep spending it just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit on different industries, yep. it's supporting local. Can I just say one more thing about toilet paper? Just one more thing. Everyone's running to Coles and Woolies to buy toilet paper. We have friends that um, sell commercial supplies to a lot of the big restaurants and hotels. Um, and obviously those guys are hurting considerably at the moment. They've got a lot of commercial rolls of toilet paper. So this is what I'm saying. We need to start thinking laterally. 
um, these guys will be very, very happy for your business. We are going to, they might not be the cute little Kleenex toilet rolls, they're going to be the big commercial grade ones. Um, but this is what we're suggesting about just thinking a little bit, you know, left of centre and not doing what uh, the 99% of uh, the country are doing. We'll pop some links up in here as well, hope that that's going to help you guys. And um, come join us for lunch if you're around in DY. Uh, I think we're having lunch, what, 12.30? 12.30 lunch at Novak's, come in. Yeah. See you we guys. Don't have, we don't have Corona. Hopefully that's helped. See you.